Please don't. Alfred? Oh, uh, 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 what's, what's the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Now's the time. It won't be long. No, Al, it's me. It's Bruce. Yes, what would Master Bruce think about what you've done? I don't know, he, he, he and the, the, the Cobblepot boy are playmates. Please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Ah, oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, uh, and, well, basically, that's all there is to it. Come on, you can't stay on the floor. Let's get you on your feet. Uh, oh, Chet. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. Oh, nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. The bioscan of Riddler's body, I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. Something tells me Riddler would be laughing at all this. It's all such a mess. One madman begetting more. He would have reveled in it. Run the simulation again, then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Uh, I already ran it several times myself. Uh, I, I wanted to, to be thorough. Silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham, a place where the sun actually comes to visit. <laughs> I might even come with you after all this is over. Well, I shall hold you to that, but you can't bring your bat suit. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then, I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Agreed. But be careful. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm trusted here. I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. 
The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. I'm sorry, Al, but we can't risk you falling again. Very well. Now, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea, and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride, which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. So, Bruce, um, after our little talk at your office, I had an idea. There's something I want to show you. So, I've been working on this in my spare time. I remember you said you could use the help, you know, when you're Batman. I started thinking about a tactical suit, in case I'm ever needed in the field. Para Aramid synthetic lining. Photo adaptive suit coloring. Full spectrum, full surround heads up display. I should be able to get the mesh fabricated in no time. I'm getting ahead of myself. The last thing you want is me out there on the rooftops with you. This wasn't all just about me. You've been going up against some heavy opposition, Bruce. More than usual. Alfred told me how Bane nearly killed you. So I designed you this. That's a gun. Let me read you the specs. Batman doesn't use guns, Tiffany. You mean... At all. I guess I've never seen you use one. But I didn't realize that was, like, a rule. I don't use a gun, because Batman doesn't kill. Okay, I get it. Still, criminals are always trying to kill Batman. Are you telling me you've never once considered a gun? Just to even the odds. It's a no-brainer. Never. I would violate my code. So, Batman has a code? Without it, I would become the very thing I hate. Listen, I should have thought it through more. I just got so caught up in the design, I didn't... I have a lot left to learn. Don't be so hard on yourself. I have to go. We'll be waiting right here.
John? Dr. Quinzel, this is Harley's. Making this easy on me, you know? What am I going to say to Bruce? It, 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 it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self-defense. I, I know it needs work! Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just... It, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I can't explain. Why? And reserve judgment. What have you done, John? No, no, please! It's, it's, just hear me out. What happened? Is Harley here? She left, just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up! I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took a hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. I completely read 
decorated, didn't I? <laughs> I wonder what Harlan would think of the new color scheme. <laughs> <clears throat> You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's... It's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I... I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in. Okay, well, it sounds, sounds like you did what you had to do. Exactly! It was a real life or death moment. I just sort of closed my eyes and hoped for the best. I felt so much rage inside me, Bruce. It was terrifying. It was like... It was like I became... Someone else. Someone dangerous. But someone you want around when your back's against the wall. Oh boy. John? Buddy, we need to get you some help. <laughs> help? You mean doctors and drugs. The talking cure. I'm not going back to Arkham, Bruce. It was a momentary episode. A, a flash in the pan. It won't be a problem. I, I promise. You, you believe me, don't you? You have faith in your good old buddy John, right? I wish I could, John, but you're making it very hard. I'm making it hard? What the heck? You're supposed to be on my side! I guess I'm an idiot for expecting that, aren't I? What do you mean? Whatever this is between us, it's off balance. The goodwill only flows one way, and it isn't towards me. You've made that very clear by now. John, that's not true, okay? You're imagining things. Really? Loopy old John's hearing the voices again. Is that it? You really know how to stick the knife in, Bruce. I should have known things were wrong the moment you put that tracker on me. You've been using me from the start. At least have the decency to admit it. The least you can do is come clean about that. Okay. Maybe I have been using you. I'm sorry, John, but there's more at stake here than your feelings. It's like Dr. Leland always said. Never demean another person's emotions! <laughs> John? <laughs> I know. You can fight better than that. What do you need, your bat suit, to really get you in the mood? What? You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal. Bat. Can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. John, it's ridiculous. I'm the furthest thing from Batman there is. No, <laughs> you don't have to keep your mask on anymore, Bruce. Not with me. <sighs> oh, are you gonna make me trot out all the evidence? All right, how about the vanishing act you pulled at the cafe when the bat signal showed up? You don't think I noticed how obvious that was? You think you can use that against me? As blackmail? Oh, I would never! 
We're two threads in the same stitch. Remember, bound together, even under strain. Then what's your point? After we raided the agency's convoy, Harley stashed one of their trucks here. And now it's gone, which means she's getting out of town, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. I'm not asking for much, just a little faith. I swear to you, my losing control was a one-time thing. One more time. You do believe me, don't you? You still have faith in me, don't you? Your old buddy John? No. I can't trust you. Can't? Or won't? After everything I've done for you. Well, do what you have to do, old friend. This ditch is broken. We, we could have done great things together, Batman. But you had to go and ruin it! Hardly warned me about you. And now she needs my help. She was right. I belong at her side. Alfred, I lost John. Something tells me he'll be running right back to Harley. Anything I can do? Give me a surveillance feed at the Gotham Bridge. Harley's trying to get out of the city with the virus and a truck full of explosives. I'll need to suit up to stop her. story from the Gotham Bridge. A woman dressed as a clown is in a standoff with government agents and the GCPD. Reports say she's threatening to set off explosives unless her demands are met. More as it comes in. This standoff looks like it's just begun. Harley looks cornered. That makes her more dangerous than ever. GCBD needs to get these people far away. I see Harley's truck, Alfred. I could drop straight onto the cab, take her out before she has a chance to detonate the C4. But there are a lot of civilians. It's the only way you're getting out of this alive. Waller's agents have orders. Shoot to kill. I got a virus in my pocket and C4 in the truck. This is a dead man switch. My finger comes off it like if I'm shot or something. Everything goes boom. You tell them I want the goddamn vials of Riddler's blood, or I'm gonna blow this freaking bridge to hell. And everyone on it. What's it gonna be, Bats? Doesn't seem like we got a lot of time. 
If you're afraid of inheriting your father's illness, I can help you find a cure. But this serum you want, it does more harm than good. How the hell do you know about that? I looked into it. It does irreparable damage to your brain chemistry. Oh, no, no. You're lying to me right now. I know it. I still want the blood. I see you found Miss Quinn. My people will take it from here. Stand aside. And we can all go on our merry way. She's mine now. I won't do that, Waller. She needs to face justice. And not your kind. I'll deliver whatever the hell I want when I want. All of you can shut your damn pie holes! I want Riddler's blood! Right freaking now! Or everyone here goes BOOM! Your threats are well and good, but I don't have it! Don't try and play me, lady! Your people took it from the subway! We took it, but someone destroyed it against my will. Someone on my team. It's gone. Whatever serum you thought you could make, it's off the table. It ain't true. It can't be. It is true. Disarm the detonator and put your hands behind your head. The hell I will! This is my show, and I'm the one...
Okay. That was the game? Seriously? Really? That was like a very short one, wasn't it, guys? Because I was expecting it for like another hour and a half, so to speak, at least. But okay, yeah, this one was freaking, freaking awesome. And it did take the cookie as well, it did. So, um, that was kind of like a turn of event, I'm going to say. So, basically, the pack found out that Bruce Wayne betrayed him. That's something I can fully understand. But the one thing that kind of got me the most was that Joker knows Bruce Wayne's identity. Seriously, really, as Batman. Okay, there are still un un one there are still un questions that I still have to ask them, so to speak. And actually, there is one more question that's lurking in my mind. Remember in the first episode we did of Batman, um, I got this funny feeling that um, oh, what's her name? What's her name? Vicky Vale is not the. Is, is, was not the killer because it was very really strange though remember we were that press conference wasn't we with Harvey Dent if if Vicky Bell was there who was that person in that suit then as the leader of the Arkham child that's one of my questions and the other question is how the hell did Joker know about Bruce Wayne being Batman what seriously guys seriously this doesn't make sense. Nothing adds up. Seriously, nothing adds up. Watch your backs, okay? But seriously, this game was freaking, freaking amazing. It was. I'm, I'm so excited to see what they have in store for the very last chapter. And yes, guys, we will be doing it. But let me know down in the comments below, yeah, what was your favorite moment? What made you say, oh my god, I did not see that coming, so to speak? I would love to know. Fill in the blanks in the comments below, okay? But seriously though, if you guys have enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up, like, leave me a comment in the section below. If you guys want to go ahead and share this video, please make sure that you do. Or better than that, then why not subscribe? Because you're keeping this channel alive, you are, my dear people. You hear me alive. Alive, I tell you. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I get a bit cuckoo when I don't get any sleep, okay? But please, fill in the blanks in the comments below. So on that note, my dear lovely people a couple more things i want to say then i'll say goodbye to you lot a major thank you to telltale what the game loopers won this game guys thank you so much a major thank you to my dear friend Callum who talked about the game in the first place and the last thank you to you lovely gits out there thank you so much for watching till next time guys i'll probably get you lot on my next episode there's still more questions i have to ask why is this happening to me sorry gotta go bye <laughs>